Double M with Jenna Hayes here on 105.9. The X. Jenna will be at Blush tonight, tomorrow night, and Saturday. Jenna, you like Blush. I you, do. You like, like the old-fashioned strip joints. Talk about your affinity for for Blush, where you'll be appearing tonight. Well, I have been dancing there for at least six years now, maybe seven years. I don't know. And I come there twice a year. They treat me really good. I have a great time. It's not really that club doesn't have like one of those stuffy gentlemen's club feelings where you're just like everybody's quiet and in suits and. That place gets crazy and rowdy and people screaming for me and money flowing everywhere. I love that place. It's now, awesome. Now, a little earlier we talked about parody porn, about, you know, takeoffs on TV shows. Now, which ones have you been in and which ones are the most memorable for you? Oh, I enjoyed... <laughs> well, you, you were in Bewitched, were you not? I did. I did the lead in the Not Bewitched Triple X. Right. You were the lead character. You were the Elizabeth Montgomery character. Yes. Uh, like Darren's wife, correct? What, what was her name? I forget her Samantha name. Samantha Stevens. Samantha Stevens, correct. <laughs> and she always goes, well. <laughs> when you're doing the parody movies, do you have to do you watch yes. the original TV I, shows, movies, whatever? I still have the DVDs of Not Bewitched at home. <laughs> so, so you were trying to imitate Elizabeth Montgomery in that character? A little bit, yes. But add my a little bit. Like you can't live up to Elizabeth Montgomery. That's like a that, that show and her character and the way she played it is kind of a legend. Right. So I tried to do my best, you know, and uh, and it came out pretty good. I mean, it won best comedy for the year at ABN that year. It's came out really good. People love it. I think it was funny because I had to wear a blonde wig the whole time. <laughs> yeah, you, you weren't as recognizable as I'm sure you usually are or like to be. Was, yeah. was that like a, a, a tough decision for you to make? Honestly, it wasn't because I, at the time, I, I kept being nominated for, for per, Female Performer of the Year from Avian and I kept losing. And everyone kept telling me, it's because you need to do more leads and features. You have to do more leads and features. So they offered me this, and I was like, oh, my God, I watched that show growing up on Nick at Night when I was a kid, you know? I was like, I'll do it, no problem. And I just dove into it, and sure enough, I won that award. Now, what other parodies <laughs> have you done? I have done... Star not, Trek, you mentioned? The Star Trek, the Not the Munsters one. Um, I know, which was really funny. I just played a girl in a cemetery. Um, gosh, what other ones have I been in? Girl in Cemetery, Jenna Hayes. The, who'd you play in the Star Trek one? I, I played... I'm ashamed I to admit a, I did not see the Star Trek one. <laughs> I played a girl in a time capsule that comes out and seduces Spock, which is really interesting. You seduced Spock? I did. And, and, like, Vulcans can't show emotion. So, in it, it was just really funny. I was doing my darn bestest. I don't know what I can say on the air when I can't. But I was doing my bestest to make him, like, lose control. And he was just, like, behind me going... Did, did he ultimately? Time, now, did he ever lose control? Did he ever get emotional? We had to cut a couple times. Oh, so yeah. as far as the movie's concerned, he did not show emotion. No, not in the movie. Did he ever do the thing where? In the movie, he kept going. That's quite interesting. <laughs> and, 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 I, and I bet it was. Now, the thing where he splits his fingers, the Vulcan salute. Did that come in handy in that scene? <laughs> Well, you're the one who brought up Belladonna. Okay, one never mind. One in that and one in the, right? right. Oh! <laughs> Jenna Hayes with us on, on 105.9. Now, Lindsay Lohan's going to jail, or is in jail. Yeah. And Hustler already hustled out a parody of Lindsay Lohan in jail. That's pretty quick thinking, isn't it? Wow, I didn't even know that. You're ahead of me over here. Well, we like to keep up with adult video here on the Mark you Madden are. Show, Jenna. Now, uh, what's your take on Lindsay Lohan? All her troubles? I think that she was... Gorgeous back in the day, man. She was when she had that red hair, and when she first came out, oh my god! I think that she has the world at her fingertips, and she's throwing it away. Well, absolutely, and just the way she handled her career. I mean, you know, obviously you're no stranger to girl, girl yourself, but I'm not <laughs> sure not. <laughs> when you're when you're the leading teen star in Hollywood that having a public lesbian romance with the butchest person I've ever seen <laughs> was a good career thing. move. I mean, tr true love's one thing, but career suicide's another. And I kind of wonder, honestly, honestly, if at some point we talked about crossover stars with, mm -hmm. you know, with uh, Sasha. She's gonna do it. Right, I wonder. Well, I she's wonder. supposed to be doing the lead in the Lin Linda Lovelace movie, right? Right, the biopic, yeah. Yeah. Which would, but that's not going to be hardcore. That's going to be, I'm sure, no, strong No, but she's R. getting closer. <laughs> well, <laughs> she's edging, inching her way towards pornography. Edging ever so close. Yeah, well, you feel bad about it, but... But boy, not too bad, because all her troubles are of her own making, aren't they? They are. You know, I mean, it's it's one thing to, I, I mean, every every movie star, every celebrity always has their problems with drugs or alcohol and all this stuff. But a lot of them handle their, you know, handle their partying and still do their job just fine. Right. You know what I mean? I don't understand why she can't find that, like, medium line. I mean, she could have any any job, any role she wants. And she's just throwing it away because she likes to party too much. It's ridiculous. Now, now I'm told. I we... did like her little nail thing. Did you see that? Yeah, I think, <laughs> I'm sure the judge felt real good about that when it came I to sensing. That was pretty awesome, actually. Now, you do not have a reputation as much of a partier. Is that correct? No. Never. 
I, the first, Back when? The first couple years of my career, yeah, I, I partied. Then I got a contract and kind of settled down into a relationship. So, I don't know. I just, I, I feel like every girl who gets in the business, they always get sucked into that right away, that party life. Because I went from being a waitress and making five seventy five an hour to making thousands of dollars in a day. Of course, I was like, oh my God, everybody, drinks are on me. I mean, I remember one time I was at a small bar in Hollywood. I bought everybody drinks. It was like a $4,000 bill. I didn't even care at the time, you know. Were they all drinking Dom? <laughs> I just kept blowing the money. I mean, there was tons of people there. But, um... But after, after that first time, I realized that I really enjoyed this. I really wanted to make this my career. So I kind of just settled down and said, I don't need this stuff. You know, this is affecting my job. You know, I, I want to do this, and I want to make this awesome. I want to be the biggest star. Well, you so. know you're the exception to the rule, right? I am. I, I mean, we talked a little <laughs> bit off there, but, like, you know, every girl I have on the show, I ask if she escorts. Yes, I do. And I know you don't. And, I, and, I, and, and if you did, I would. Believe me. Uh, the only one to tell the truth was Cagney Lynn Carter when she was in here the last time. She admitted it, but... Uh, and you're not an excessive party. I mean, how do you, how do you, I mean, like, that's a lot of temptation to avoid. That's easy money. That's, you know, yes. uh, a higher, not a, literally a higher standard of living. You know what I mean? It's just, how do you, how do you dodge it? Because I think that if I did escorting, I would be so screwed up mentally. That well, none of these other girls are. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair, fair. <laughs> Um, I, I don't know. It's just, it's not for me. You know, like, I like being a performer. I like being on camera. I like knowing that people around the world are watching me. That's what makes my job so awesome. To be in a hotel room with some guy I don't know and stuff would just, it would mess me up inside my head. It would make me, my self-esteem go down. It just wouldn't be right for me. It's not healthy. Of course, last night it would have been different because at least you would have had a hotel room. <laughs> last night, if it was a girl, I would have taken her up on it. <laughs> Janet, thank you so much for joining us. As always, it's a pleasure to have you. Uh, tell the fans what they can expect from you at Blush tonight, tomorrow night, and Saturday night. You can expect awesome new costumes, super naughty dancing, new songs I'm dancing to in case you've seen me before. Um, they let me get full nude and naughty as I can get. Um, I also do lap dances after. There's Polaroids. I have all my DVDs, including my new one, which I directed and produced for my company. And um, that's pretty much it. You can get pictures and talk to me. Hugs are free. <laughs> Ooh, I'll take you up on that in just a second here. Okay. <laughs> Jenna, thank you again. That's Jenna Hayes. She'll be at Blush tonight, tomorrow night, and Saturday. I'm Mark Madden, 1059.